Hey, I'll give you a quick rundown on how to uh, install a volume uh, reduction spacer in your DV air. We'll have a better video coming, but this will just get you going. Uh, step one would be the obvious. Remove the air from the shock. So depress your air valve. There's no air in this shock. Secondly, since I'm going blind these days, I'll put on glasses. This O-ring at the end of the shock near the eyelet, you'll need to remove. This one, you can actually kind of push forward with your fingers and get it to crawl out of there. If it doesn't, you can use a little pick and try and pick it out, which isn't going to necessarily ruin the O-ring. You'll be reusing it, but this O-ring does not uh, hold air or keep air from escaping. This guy's going to get left to the side. Step two, get a soft jaw vise or a vise with some uh, rags in it so you don't ruin your eyelet here, your lower eyelet. You don't want to scar that up. Being that it's a new shock, it's probably going to be fairly stiff to remove the can. This one would come off fairly easy by hand, but for sake of doing it right the first time, we we'll use a rubber strap wrench. I'm going to put it below the air volume insert. All right, so strap's tight. We we'll use the strap for leverage to push down on. So we're going to push and turn. And now it's popped loose from the O-ring. You can see there's an air volume reduction sleeve in there. Now if we remove the shock from the vise. This will allow you to pull the air can off. Set your air can to the side. So <clears throat> to install one of these, you would just crawl it over the top of the eyelet. I'm going to remove this one. All right. This O-ring right here is holding the can in place as well as this one. Make sure you don't have those out of their O-ring gland. Being that it's a new shock, you won't have to replace it. Now is a good time to reapply some shock lube here. If it's real wet and you can tell it's got plenty of lube, you're probably good to go. We're going to take an air volume spacer and place it back on. Slide it all the way forward, like so. All right, make sure the O-rings are in place. Now, <clears throat> with your air can, the valve is going to go forward towards the cylinder head of the shock. So we get the shock sitting like so. We'll go to the table here. I like to put a little pressure on the entire shock. As I'm pushing it in gently, I'm making sure the O-ring doesn't crawl out. We look good. So we're going to slide through. We're going to slide over the air volume reduction spacer. <clears throat> now at this point, we're going to reinstall the shock the same way we took it off because now we have to slide this air can up. Now the strap wrench will likely do it for you. Sometimes you can do it by hand if it's got fresh grease. But you want to make sure that guy is in there nice and tight because you're going to be pulling upwards. Now I'm going to get the strap wrench on there good and snug, just below the air valve here. And I'm going to pull up and turn. I'm using that strap wrench as leverage. You're going to get grease on the can. It's going to be hard to kind of pull up by hand. <clears throat> so the strap wrench is just kind of like a flat base piece of leverage here you can pull up on. Now the air can is in place. At this point, you can align your eyelets kind of mimic how it would be in the frame and you can also turn your air can back to where you originally had it. Generally the air can, depending on what side of the bike you want it on, is going to be in between the piston and the reservoir if you will. You don't want it underneath the reservoir, you don't want to bang that, you don't want it back here because it may not mount on your frame. 
somewhere in this area. Um, being that you have taken the air can off and put the volume spacer in, generally you can turn the air can around by hand at this point. The grease is good uh, and plenty fresh and you've kind of broken the seal if you will. So you should be able to get that on. Now come back, remove the shock, give it a quick inspection, everything looks good. We're going to go back and reinstall this o-ring into the gland. Just gently crawl it around. Now pinch it into place, seat it. All right. Good to go there. Now you would charge the air can. It will expand. That's what keeps it from coming off the back and the o-ring holding it in place. Think of that o-ring as a circlip and it should be ready to install. Now if you goofed up and you got it on the bike and you're like, oh, I want my air valve on the other side, while it's mounted, it's easy enough to turn the air can in any direction you want on the bike. If you need to use the strap wrench again while it's on the bike, that's fine. But that's a good, uh, good thing to recheck before you uh, install it. And that should get you going. Take off my fancy glasses. Have a great day.